In this video, it pays to be the apple that didn't fall far from the tree. I made the son of every former NFL player into a 99 overall. Now, the only rule of the video is they have to be a current NFL player that is not a free agent. So they have to currently be on an NFL team. Now, I used Wikipedia's list of second generation National Football League players and looked at every father-son combination to see if the son is currently an NFL player. If they were, then I made them a max overall. We're just gonna go team by team chicago did not have any the bengals had multiple irv smith jr orlando brown joe Burr, ted caress so their offense is looking unbelievable the bills didn't have any the broncos had patrick certain the second who's now a 99 overall the browns didn't have any the buccaneers had antoine winfield jr 99 overall free safety the cardinals had sean harlow no relation to jack the chargers had asante samuel jr and joey bosa the chiefs didn't have any the colts had michael pittman jr new 99 wide receiver commanders didn't have any neither did the cowboys the dolphins had cedric wilson jr so now they have two wide receivers at a 98 or higher three at an 88 or higher two was happy as hell the eagles didn't have any the falcons had Caden ellis at linebacker and jake matthews at left tackle the niners add two 99s mccaffrey being one of them Nick Bosa being the other. The Giants, Isaiah Hodgins is now a 99. The Jaguars get a 99 wide receiver too. Zay Jones. The Jets didn't get any. Neither did the Lions. The Packers now have a 99 Christian Watson. And 99 right guard John Runyon. The Panthers now have a 99 JC Horn. The Pages get a 99 Matthew Slater. Raiders didn't get any. The Rams get 99 Cooper Cup and 99 Van Jefferson. The Ravens get 99 marlon humphrey the saints get 99 andrus pete and 99 cameron jordan the seahawks get 99 devin bush 99 dk metcalf and 99 jamal adams the steelers get a 99 cameron hayward if you're new around here and you haven't hit that subscribe button yet what the heck are you doing charlie the new 99 from the texans along with robert woods and amari rogers the titans get a 99 mario edwards jr and jalen rager is the new highest overall wide receiver on the Vikings. He is now a 99. We're going to sim to the playoffs and see which one of these sons that is now a max overall can help their team go the furthest in the playoffs. Asante Samuel Jr. takes his team to the first seed in the AFC. Jags and Bills end up second and third. And you have the Ravens, Chiefs, Raiders, and Browns make the playoffs. In the NFC, the Commanders go 14-3. and three. Niners with the second seed. And you have the Falcons, Saints, Packers, Vikings, Vikings and Giants make it on an eight and nine record. Here are the teams that missed out in the NFC. Bears go three and fourteen. Meanwhile, on the AFC, Sertain could not get his team to the playoffs. There's a lot of great teams in both conferences. Texans go four and thirteen with all those 99s. Dak leads the league in the passing yards with 5,354. He also ties for the most touchdowns with Patrick Mahomes, Lawrence, Jimmy G, Herbert, Daniel Jones. Just some of the names in the top ten. Derrick Henry had the most rushing yards on the season over 1700 man he had himself a really nice season and then he had multiple guys with 19 damien on the bills on his brand new squadron was out there balling rashad penny on the eagles had himself a good season montgomery on the lions booby cooper cup with a 2000 yard season he would have done this even if he wasn't a 99 look at Jalen rager 1700 yards second most in the league cedric wilson 1698 a lot of these sons stepped up and made their father very proud with the performances they put on in this simulation look at how many receivers had more than a thousand yards receiving man that's just a nasty season for a lot of them watson right on the dot a thousand yards cooper cup had the most receptions Diggs, michael thomas amon ra rager in the top five so he had himself a really really nice year now as for touchdowns cup tie with keenan for the most in the league cedric wilson is gonna win some awards at least be in contention for some awards because he had him himself a nasty season as well on the defensive side divine diablo led the league in tackle devin white denzel perriman just a list
list of some of the guys in the top five tags for a loss yeah buckner cameron jordan who tied for the most rashawn gary vita there donald crosby i mean a lot of notable names as for sacks though donald led the league sets the nfl record 26 and a half sacks both bosa brothers were both 99s because their dad was in the league but hey they definitely made him proud with that performance man so many sacks in the family you love to see it man as for interceptions logan wilson roquan and legerious need Tariq woolen in the top four and then the dory jackson and a bunch of guys with five interceptions mvp goes to danny dimes on an a9 team i gotta see his stats man that's crazy 40 touchdowns six picks 4800 yards that's a nasty season and we all know he's called vanilla vic shout out to you know bengal but hey only one touchdown rush okay 4.3 yards per carry he was doing a good job moving the chains so hey, that's a nasty season man coach of the year goes to big balls doug peterson opoi goes to keenan allen man they had two charts in the top two cedric was right there dpoi goes to bosa aaron donald steals it from the other bosa in the nfc and then opoi went to cooper cup his teammate of all the teams that added 99s in this experiment two teams that didn't end up making the super bowl the commanders and the chiefs make it all the way to the big game you had a bosa brother almost make it the browns didn't add anyone so in the nfc and afc championship games only one team added at least 199 man kind of shocking to see chargers got bounced in divisional even though they were the one seed they got blown out by the browns was not expecting that to happen but hey man credit to these two teams for making it jagopi Brissett, hey man he might be him taking his team to the one seed going up against 99 mahomes kelsey and now chris jones and they might actually be the favorite only saying that because they're the one seed and the chiefs were a wild card team so hey on paper it looks like the commanders should be able to win this game it's a tie game after one but yeah you know kansas city has multiple 99s right now commanders look like the team that has multiple 99s 28 points at halftime maybe ea is telling us something that we should know about next season i mean i saw this thread about jacoby maybe being the next geno smith or you know what i'm saying i don't know how much truth there is to it but i, I was seeing a little similarities like he could have a nice bounce back year now surrounded by guys like terry mclaurin he's gonna have a, a great d line on his defense i don't know man and then now of course seeing this simulation i might have to go you know play some bets i might, you know i might have to draft him in fantasy hey man don't say i did not warn you if he has a great season man, clip it you feel me first and ten mahomes needs to get a touchdown on his drive to cut it the one possession mckinnon up the gut oh he fumbles the ball commander scoop it up and washington is in the driver's seat to get their first super bowl in ages the commanders take home the lombardi in this experiment man none of them were a 99 once again man crazy season crazy simulation this is not the last you'll see of the sons that had fathers in the nfl we're just getting started man thanks for watching subscribe for new and i'll see you on the next one Stunning like i hit the jackpot he don't want to catch a fade i'ma really get him black doc he ain't really about that life better breathe for you fat bop steady rocking with the stripes i'ma really get him checked. everybody get a chase everybody get in bass will it end will it last Bring the cars going fast Please don't say you wanna be friends In my dreams we play pretend Maybe I can love you and listen, listen, listen